Hi everyone. Um, good afternoon. Um, so okay. Um, without further ado, I think we're just gonna start our session. Uh, my name is Yumin. Uh, together with me is Marcus and our team from the regional. Um, and today we are going to cover um how to build your Facebook business page. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a step-by-step -step demonstration on exactly how do you create your own Facebook page. So uh, if you have already um, have your own Facebook page, um, this might be a revision, this might be a, um, some good to know, but um, for those of you who um, want to know how to do this, um, uh, if you have your own like, laptop at the side and if you want to follow, feel free. Um, and if you feel that it's going too fast um, and you need to um, watch the recording after this, um, we'll have it recorded and we'll have it uploaded to our YouTube channel. Um, we'll, have, we'll send out the link as well on, um, on our um, community group, the command community group. Yeah, so, um, so if you have any questions along the way while uh, I'm, I'm showing that I'm demonstrating or I'm, um, I'm, I'm going through the steps by steps, uh, you can ask in the chat box. Uh, the team will actually try their best to answer your questions uh, or we'll also uh, be addressing some of the questions um, after the session if there is. Um, so I think that's it for now. Um, and we're gonna start. So, yeah. And um, the reason why we are doing this is also because um, um, I think most of you are aware that we have um, uh, we have um, have our. Uh, we, you are able. You are now as a refill agent. You are now able to actually launch a Facebook ads from your command itself, um, using the campaigns applet. So in order to do that, in order to launch an ad, you actually need to have a Facebook business page. Um, so so that's part of um, one of the, the the assets that you need to own in order to do so. So this is why um, the team thought that we need to actually do a demo of how do you actually create a Facebook business page for those who don't have. Um, so without further ado, let me just share screen. Um, yep. Um, so right now you are seeing my screen um, that shows my Facebook page, right? Um, anyone have any issue? Anyone not seeing my screen? Is everyone seeing my screen? Yes. Okay. Good. So um, this is my Facebook page. Uh, oh, so in order for you to to create a page, you need to have a Facebook account. Yeah. Um, so if you don't have, you will have to create a Facebook account. Um, go to facebook.com and register a free account. All right. Um, so with this Facebook account, um, you will be able to then see um, your posts, you'll be able to see your friends' posts and all that. So this is a Facebook personal account. In order to create a page, what you need to do is to go to this on the top right hand corner. There's this plus sign. Can you see that? Um, click on that and select. What's this? <laughs> Um, and select uh, creating a page, which is this one here. All right. So this one, you can now um, select this. Okay. So now um, you will see this. All right. So all you need to do is actually just to follow the steps. Um, so over here, you have to fill in your page name. Um, which is a required field. So uh, depending on how you would like to build your page. So think of it as like opening a, a physical shop, right? Let's, let's say you're going to open your own like, real estate office, your own property office, right? So what would you want to name it? Um, so I know like some of you, you might want to name it as, you know, some names, you know, or, or like your own name, you know, or like... Um, uh, I don't know, a team names or maybe the location that you focus on. So um, you, you can think of it as like how you like to name your shop. So this is an online 
kind of version kind of shop okay so imagine it that way um so so think of like how you like to name it so um for example i'm gonna just uh put it as a name is not my <laughs> strength um so it's just gonna be a test property uh, um yeah good okay so just as an example, okay? So name, name it according to how you like it. Um, I can show you some of the examples, like you can see this by one of our agents. Um, his name is Naki. He's done a really good job. He, he's, he's focusing on TTDI, so he has a TTDI homes. And it's a, uh, he, he, this is his name, right? And he has a logo as well. Then this is a cover photo. So this is, I believe, the TTDI um, landscape photo yeah so um, yeah then uh, of course then for some people who are actually focusing on like this one is like Suban Jaya Banda Sangwe Klana Jaya so you might not want to have it as like like this it's a bit like too long um, but you get the idea right you can maybe either name it according to the names that you want it can be for example uh, refill properties you know hunters properties anything properties you know that kind of thing or it can be by locations it's really up to you on how you run your business so there's another one that just say chari ruma property management so if you are focusing on like a certain kind of market uh, that's maybe something that you also can just name it according to that so it's it's really like up to you on how you like to name your online fit shops right um yeah, so um yeah, so um okay, so let's say so some people might ask, like, you know, let's say I am like doing a few locations. I do Suba, I also do KLCC, which is really far away. Then I also do like Cyber Jaya, which is like so I need to have three page. Can I do so? Um the answer is you can. You can create three business pages if you want to. Um, but I also want to remind you that with three pages, right? So imagine if you open three shops, right? You also need to manage three shops. So you remember, you know, think of resources, think of time, think of like, you know, time that you have to spend to actually like create posting to manage your shops. <laughs> um, think of what you want to post in all these shops. And um, um, if people like, text uh, message you on your Facebook page you have to also reply and you know get leads and all that so um, think of that as well because um, while you're opening the shop even though it's online you also have to manage it yeah you can't just leave it there and just shove it in the shelf so um, so so this is something to think about like how you want to manage it yeah so this is I think also why some of the people they put like you know so many location in one um, yeah but you so in that case, you might want to, for example, just use your name, for example, like Eric Lim Properties, for example, right? Or you think of a name that, that you like, then someone property, then, yeah. So, so yeah. Um, so a good Facebook page will be like something that, like, like something like this, like you have your own um, account photo, account photo that represent your page. So this one, because he's talking about TTDI, is a TTDI landscape photo, right? Um, has a logo. Um, you can easily create a logo um, um, using designs on command. Uh, and a lot, like if you Google, you're actually able to find some free uh, logo creating uh, sites that you can just create a simple logo, simple logo. Yeah. Um, yeah. So let me go back to this one. So now just put one name um, here, category. So category is, uh, what is this page all about? Um, so, okay. So you can, property. So for example, this, you can choose one or you can choose more. Um, so you can add up like most to three. So for example, the estate agent, um, property service, um, it can be, for example, business, um, I don't know. If it's like two is good enough, then you just put two, you don't have to, um, 
um, put three, even though three is the maximum. So description. So what is your page all about? So um, so 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 this is where you you put in your uh, description. Um, over here. Uh, so this is uh, where we. Or so this is where you kind of really like have to um <laughs> sorry the pole pops up um especially Uh, just as an example, so this is where you put in like your description. Um, this is where you kind of like uh, have to explain what is this page all about, what do you do, and um, why should people talk to you. You know, what it's like your extended name card like that. So once you're done. Um, Create page, click create page. Okay, um, then scroll down. Um, then you can see that it will ask you to add a profile photo. So this is where you add your um, logo um, or add the images that help people to identify you. I don't have a proper image um, here, so just ignore this. Um, so I, I'm simply putting an image, but um, an image should be, it will appear here. You can see this small logo here, this small round circle here. Um, but you should put like a logo, okay, something like this or uh, this is not the best. Um, yeah, something that is relevant and related to your page. Like for example, this is our review page and this is what um, um, we put. Okay, so, um, so you put a profile photo, then you add a cover photo. A cover photo is this long image that will actually um, goes on here. So, mm, let me see. So I'm just gonna put this. So this is what you see, all right. Um, so you can see that this is a preview of your page. Um, so it's like you're renovating and then this is like a, a halfway through. You can see that how it kind of looks like. So this is a profile photo. This is your, uh, this is your profile photo. This is your cover photo. Um, and then this is where um, your description appears, okay. Um, once you're done, just click save over right here. Mm, yeah, so now you can see that I can. Uh, so now like, like that's it. This is your page, right? Um, what you can do, um, and okay, let me just go through simply your page, yeah. Um, once it's done, this is, you can see it, like this is your page. On the right hand side, it's a, a new page, so it's like your shop done already, like open ceremony, like koi jong already, okay. Um, uh, if you don't want to have this appear on your page, like if, you know, people come, you don't want them to see this, you can click on these three dots and say hide from timeline. So then it won't appear here. Um, so it's like when people come in, if they see this, it's like your renovation haven't cleaned up your all the, all the um, bricks and all that. So, so you might want to hide this so that it's like clean and empty. So now if people come to your page, um, they will see like just a clean page without anything, no posting, no nothing, right? Um, so, um, so yeah. 
I'm, I'm gonna talk about the posting in a bit, but um, I just wanna show you this is how it looks like. And um, first thing first, you might want to create a username. So let's say, um, um, so this is a name, it's easy for people. So it's a name that people can find. Um, so, so, it, it's, um, so you might want to think of name that, um, um, say for example, if you want to talk to your clients about this, what is a good username, right? So, you know, I'm assuming, right? It can be like a assuming property, for example. So people can understand, people can just, um, um, yeah, can just, uh, uh, so you can just put, but because I have already put this as a test property group just now, um, so I'm just going to follow this. Um, yeah. So if there is a tick, that means it's available. If like, for example, um, it says this. That means it's not available, meaning someone have already used this name. So you can also be creative, for example, adding a dot and then you can see if uh, it's available. See, it's not, right? So, so these are some of the things that you can play around with. Um, and if you want, you can also get tips on choosing a name and to see like, you know, what is a better um, way to choose a name. Okay, so that's that. something you can click on to find out more. Um, so this one, I'm just going to... Just gonna leave it as it is um, and create username. Okay, done. So you can see that it says this now. Um, okay, next thing is um, add a button. So this is a call to action, meaning, right, when people come to this part, when people come to your page, what do you want them to do? So you can, so if you're not sure, right, the best thing is to find some Facebook page that you think from the agents that you think are doing very well on page and just look at them, like what are they doing, right? So you can see that for example, for this one, he put a WhatsApp button here. Um, for this one, it's a send message button, a send Facebook message button. This is also a send message um, for our own. Uh, I think this is a contact us button here. Yeah, so, um, yeah. so this is a contact us button. So yeah, so you can now then add your own button. Just click on this and choose. So if you click follow, means people can follow your page. That means uh, if you have any updates, they'll get a notification on their Facebook. Uh, it might be a bit spammy for some people. So this might not be something that you, you really want to do. Um, view a gift card. Uh, if you have a gift card where they can purchase, in our case, it's not very relevant. La. Choose order food. So this is obviously for food company. Book now is where they can book an appointment with you. But um, think of it this way, right? If people don't really know you, they might not want to also just commit something that is like a book now kind of um, commitment. So, um, yeah, so, so, so might be a contact us or send message. So if you choose a send message, that means they will send message to your Facebook page. So um, you will have to then manage your Facebook messages, okay? So this is message. If you choose send WhatsApp message, um, then they will, be able to then send a message to your WhatsApp. Uh, if it's email, then it's email. So, um, and of course there's all these others as well. Um, if you ask me personally, I think we will choose this one so that people can directly um, uh, get, um, get to my WhatsApp, right? So, um, so this is how you do this. Once you click send message, this will pop up. Um, and all you need to do is to change it to Malaysia, um, add your phone number. It has to be your real phone number because um, Facebook has sent a code to you to verify your number. Um, so um, I get a message on this and confirm it. All right. So now you can see that um, uh, the button is here. It says edit WhatsApp. That means, right, if like eventually, if I don't want to have it, like a WhatsApp message or WhatsApp button here, I can click edit 
and I can choose um uh I can choose other actions, right? I can say maybe I want to do email now instead of WhatsApp. So then I can choose that. Yeah. So you can always change it after if you don't like it or it doesn't suit you, right? Um, yeah, that's that. Um, so that's the button that you can put here. Um, the other thing that I think you should also think of is, okay, so this is your page on the right hand side. On the left hand side, this is your um, this is your setting. So this is where um, it has all the button where you can manage your page accordingly. So um, for example, uh, there is settings here. Uh, there's edit page info here. So if you go to settings over here, um, I want to show you this. So let's say say if I come here, right? Like I come to Naki's page. It when I land on this page, it actually has a pop-up that says this. Um, it will prompt me to um, say, to, to like it has all these questions, then it will prompt me to actually send a message to, to this agent. So, so uh, you know, so we might, you might want to have this on your page as well, so that um, it's a lot more interactive. Yeah, so as you can see, like, if I come here, there's no such thing. This person didn't put that um, message prompt. Um, yeah, so how can you set that? It's at settings. Um, I go back again, huh? like at my page just now. Um, I scroll down. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> mm, I scroll down on the left-hand side. Remember, all your settings is on the left-hand side of the page, okay? Left hand side, scroll all the way down to settings. Um, at settings, go to messaging here, this part, okay? Okay, so this is where you can actually um, set up uh, this messaging. Um, for example, um, this, this, you can leave it. It simply means that when people hit enter button on your keypad, you will send a message. You can just leave it if it's on. Um, over here, starting a messenger conversation. So, um, for example, you can on this um, and essentially means you can greet someone before they send them, before they send you a page. So your greeting will appear in a chat. So it's like just now, the one that you saw. Um, so you can now, um, say like what do you want to send yeah so it's like when they come to your shop what's the first thing they hear right so you can say um so over here it says hi this is my name right um that means right so for example if marcus go to my page right it will be hi marcus park something 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 you know or if it's sing fei come to my page it will be hi sing fei um what's your message at the back so um so this is something that um it's personalized um, and then you can choose like which one do you want so you can put that first name or full name you know so um, it's up to you so over here it's a full name of me right um, you can also just put first name yeah so you can choose um, this and thanks for getting in touch you know please send us any questions or you can say um, uh, I don't know So this is uh, just some message that you can think of how you want to put this. Um, yeah, and just now was a, uh, uh, then you can also add emoticon, like then it's a little bit uh, friendlier. Yeah, so you can see that this is the message that the person will get um, in the preview mode just now. So once you are done with this, save it. Okay, yeah. So you can customize this um, according to how you like. Um, this one, um, I will leave this. 
um, I'll leave this. But essentially, if you have like um, a website that you you own or um, a, um, or or when you email your clients and you want them to um, message you on Facebook, this is um, the Facebook messenger link that you can copy and paste it on your email on your WhatsApp. You know, um, yeah. Or if you have a what website. Um, you can also just in, include this chat plugin there. Um, this is how you do it, but um, currently we are not covering that. You can just leave it first. Um, okay, so this is automated response. So meaning, right, um, when they send you something, do they get a reply? What reply do they get, right? So it's like, um, you know, when you're away in an email, you can also set like a away email responder. So then they know that, oh, um, for example, Marcus is on leave from today until Friday, for example, right? So this is an automated response. So um, if you want to set it up, you can just click set up. Mm. Okay, go. So you can um, do this. So away messages means um, if you're away uh, and they send you this, they send you a message, um, it will just automatically say, thank you for your message. We are away, can respond now, you know, that kind of thing. So um, you can customize this. Uh, you can turn this, currently it's off um, and you can turn this on, yeah. Um, and you can edit the message okay so you can change this you can again add personalization um, so for example hi someone someone thank you for your message you know we are away and whatsoever right um, time that means right this is a set time that you know that you you won't respond to the messages one so um you can change the time here you can add the time here okay um so that's a away message um then here um is the questions right so um so you can ask a sequence of questions um to qualify the people um I would actually not recommending qualifying too much on a Facebook because these people, they are strangers, right? They might not really know you so much and you ask too much question, it might be a turn off for people. So you might want to ask something that is uh, as a, that's, that's more friendly, that is not so, um, it's not so scary, it's not so turned off. La. So um, you can customize your questions depending on what information you need. So for example, you can see there's an example here. Um, thank you for your interest. What type of service can you help with? So, you know, that kind of thing. So you can, it can be something like that, like a bit simple like this. Okay. Um, if you want to, uh, so this is where you click on the edit button. This is where you customize your message. So this is a welcome message. And then these are the question prompt. So just um, edit that and just insert your questions correctly, uh, accordingly. So again, example, right? Um, like for example, um, this is what, these are the question prompt that he have set. Can I speak to an agent? What area do you serve? Can I schedule a viewing? Is there any new properties available? So you can take that as a reference. Um, and insert it accordingly here. All right. Um, you can also send a reminder um, for people who have not. So maybe they have like replied halfway and then they just close the page. Um, this will actually send a Facebook message reminder here. So completion message means like it's the thank you message that after they send after they finish answering your questions, um, they are you send this um completion message. So yeah, yeah. And these are all the other things that you can also turn on and off. So appointment reminders, if they set an appointment with you over Facebook, um, they'll send a reminder. Follow up means um, if they schedule an appointment, after that, um, they will send a prompt to ask, um, how was it and things like that. Would you like to schedule another appointment, things like that. Page recommended and not recommended, I think you can just leave it, don't have to do anything. So once you are done with it, um, you can preview in Messenger. Just click on this button. Mm, 
and then it's loading here over here there you go yeah so you can see this is the introduction message and these are the question prompt yeah not that so this is a um, preview okay so once you're done just click save okay so this is called auto method responses how do we get here um from your page just now i'm gonna just show you again very quickly yeah how do we get there just now um at your page on the left hand side go to settings at settings go to messaging at messaging um remember just now we have um we have done all our messages and last one set up automated responses over here so when you click set up it will bring you to this page whereby you can um, customize all the questions that you want and don't want. So again, you might not want to ask too much. You might want to be very friendly and polite in your messages, all right? So, um, so turn on these questions for potential customers and click edit. So this is where you then started to um, write your questions. Okay. Um, okay. What else? Um, so when we send these questions, right? Uh, if a person have a Facebook apps and Facebook chat on their phone, the chat will then go to their phone directly. So it's a Facebook chat, yeah? yeah. So now I go back to the page um, and this is the page, this is a new page. Um, and remember, we need to maintain and service the page one. So, um, inbox is where you manage your messages so if there's any new messages um, it will come here okay so currently there's no no messages yeah i have sent me myself a message just now to test so if there's any messages it will appear here you will be able to see this okay yeah, so you can see that on over here, you can actually add a label. Um, you can say, you know, is this a new customer? Is this an important thing or whatsoever? You can add your own label. So for example, this person, you know, um, looking for Subang, Subang Jaya, you know, I add a Subang Jaya label, for example. So you can manage your own label here um, accordingly. If you want to delete them, you can just click this. I can change the color here. Like that yeah so um so you can keep track of your messages or your facebook messages here yeah um you can also add a note here or you can add the activity here um by scheduling an appointment here with them you know so um so this is facebook messages so all your messages will come here remember you will have to manage your messages as you message your page all right it's not very nice that people text you and then you don't reply, right? So um, that's that. Um, I covered at the button here. I covered messages prompt. Um, what else? Notifications is where um, what um, what have happened to your page, right? So if anyone like your page, anyone um, message you or anything, you'll get notification. So it's here, right? Um, you can also see that um, all the messages, uh, all, the, all the past changes that you have done, you will also appear here. Okay, so as you go, as you use your page, you will realize more and more things, okay? So don't ignore all these dots. Um, click on it, find out what's, what is it. Um, and see how you can use them for. So you can see like over here, there's four new um, dots. So I need to scroll down to see what happened and you know, anything that I need to um, change or add and all that. Um, so you can slowly go through them one by one. Um, I have um, go through the, the important things um, earlier, but when you have time, go through these um, settings one by one and how you want, to, uh, how you want your page um, to look like. Okay, um, I've covered messaging, um, page info, 
Okay, so page info, right? Remember just now we have um, done this. You can see that there's more here that we didn't put in just now. So page info is something that you should put in. Um, come to page info and um, um, complete your details. So for example, your contact details is very important um, because as an agent, this is how people contact you. Um, um, adding us email address. Okay. Um, if you have a website, um, put a website here as well. I, okay. Um, add in your location. Um, or if you don't want, you can just put this. Or you, if you have, if you actually do more than one locations, you can do this. Okay. Um, I don't have a physical location. Uh, can say that I travel to customer. You are right as an agent. Do can customer mm, not really? You know. So so you just fill in accordingly. Oh, service area. Service area is the part that you want to put in. So like I said just now, I do Subang Jaya. Um, Puchong, um, Cyber Jaya, right? Okay, so so then you can put in your service area here, right? Um, you can only select up to 10 neighborhoods. Okay, so um, select wisely and you might want to put those that um, you uh, think is important at the front. So for example, if I think Cyber Jaya more important, right? I want to put Cyber Jaya first. Just for an example. So it will appear according to your sequence. Okay. Um put you on just now. Yep. Hours. Um so this is basically your own service hours. How do you like to, um, uh, how, so this is also, the hours also indicate um, when would the people um, expect your reply when they message you or when they comment on your post, right? Um, say, if you say no hours available, then it will just be off. You won't see this, right? You, you put always open, that also means that like, you know, if the customer actually like um, message you at like, 10 p.m. They expect a reply. Okay. Um, this thing about Facebook is that instant gratification is important here and it's very um, prominent here. People expect a reply like soon. Um, and if you don't reply them right soon enough, right, they will not remember that they have messaged you. So when you message them, they'll be like, huh, I messaged you, man. I don't remember. When, ah? Uh? What is it all about? Uh? So you get like people like that because, um, it, it could be because you didn't reply them, like you didn't get back to them soon enough, right? So um, hours is important, um, put like accordingly. If you want to like put this, you can as well. But over here, I'm just gonna select this. Um, yeah, this one, if you know, like say for example, you are traveling, right? You know, you can actually change it here. Um, if you have any more information you want to put in, you know, whether it's product skirt or your, um, um uh you know all the all these things privacy policy you you have if you want you can insert all right price range okay um i will just put unspecified um other accounts so uh if you have any other accounts uh, that you want to actually link it you can actually put it here as well um so again what you put on the page the uh the clients, customer, users, they can actually um, contact you via all these channels, right? So if you, are, if you have it, but actually you don't have time to maintain them, like, you know, maybe I have a Twitter, but I never use it, right? You don't put it there. Because if they contact you via Twitter and you don't view them, you don't reply to them, um, it's, it's going to have like leave a bad impression on you, right? So, um, so, so, so you don't want to do that, okay? So if you don't have, I'm um, just going to leave it. And then, and yeah, we are good. 
So you just have to manage like other page already. Because just now as I was doing things, as I was, for example, um, updating my page, right? You can see that there's this thing that says your changes have been saved over here. So as I have been like, you know, um, changing details here, putting things here, um, all these changes are saved already on the left hand side. Can see that, right? Left hand bottom. Yeah. So once like you are done with it, you can just move on to other page here um, and continue with um, your things. So, okay. Templates and tabs. What are templates and tabs? Um, just to show you an example. Um, these are the tabs. Okay, these are this is like how a template looks like. These are the tabs. So if I click more, then it will show this. So you can see that it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven tabs here. So this is what we call tabs. Um, basically, if you have it, that means uh, they can um, access it quickly on your page. So if you don't have a off, you have a shop, you just off it right? Um, if you don't have like offers, for example, of it, uh, you don't have events, you can just turn it off. You don't have any job openings for your business, turn it off. Um, if you um, want to show like, for example, um, yeah, I think that's it. If you, if you want to turn it on, just click again, right? Yeah. So that's it that you have to do. Um, then you can see like this six dots button here. That is the sequence of your tabs. So you can see like, for example, on this page, right? Um, the sequence is as such that it says home reviews photos community. So let's say over here, it says home services reviews um, photo video. I want to put photo first. So I can just drag it. So it will then say home photo services. Okay, so you just have to um, drag this, hold your mouse and then just drag it up. Um, yeah, and then um, again, you see it's already saved and updated here. Um, what else? Then notifications is uh, shown just now. If there's anything to your page, there you go. Um, you get notification anytime there is an activity on your page. Um, so you can turn it on or off, okay? So if there's a page mentioned, over here it says turn off, but actually you might want to turn it on so that you know who mentioned you, what is it all about. Uh, if there's a review, uh, you might want to have it because uh, people might leave good or bad review. So you, you, you want to be able to respond to that. Um, any comment, because it's a business page, again, you would like to know. Um, any edits, you know, new subscriber to event. And so again, like say we don't have event, right? So it's okay that it's off. Um, new followers to page. So this is something that you have to choose. Um, new followers of page means someone have followed your page. Do you want to turn it on or off? You want to know or not? Um, likes and all that. So um, you can choose how you want to get activity. Um, you can say get one big lump sum activity every 12 to 24 hours. So then um, every 12 to 24 hours, they will send you, Facebook will send you um, a, a, an update that says um, in the past 12 to 24 hours, you have gotten three likes on posts, four likes on comment, and three reviews, for example, at that time. There. Or you can also turn it off. Um, but again, like if you turn it off, you see you might miss these updates. Remember, because this is your shop front, this is your business, you will actually want to get notification, all right? So um, choose them accordingly. Um, messages, get a notification when someone sends you a messages. Um, very important, I think it should be on. Email, if, there is, uh, if you want to have, if you don't want to have, you can turn it off, text messages on. Yeah, so these are notifications, settings. Um, what else? At once messaging. I think you can just leave it at, at the moment because um, it's a little bit more high level already. Um, page roll. So 
because I created this page automatically, I am the page admin and I'm the owner of this page, right? Um, if you have like, you know, say for example, you belong to a platform and then as a platform member, you actually have um, some page that you run with together you, with your platform owners, um, then yeah, you might actually have a page that you run together. So, so then you might have a new page role and all that. Um, or you belong to a team or you and some colleagues actually work together to actually maintain one Facebook page. Um, so then you can actually um, assign different new page role here. So there are four types of role, one admin, editor, moderator, advertiser, and analyst. For our case, um, to run a Facebook campaign on command, to run Facebook ads on command, you will have to be an admin, okay? So you will have to be an admin. You have to be this one in order for you to run a Facebook page from your, Facebook ads from your command, okay? So that's that. Um, so this is something very important that you need to make sure that you are this. Um, people in other pages. Mm. So here you can see like who liked this page. Obviously, I've just created this page and there's no one like it. Um, but when, when, when you actually gather a group of people who will like your page, you can actually see um, um, who are these people. And if you have people who are like troublemakers that they just come and cut out your page one, um, you can also like remove them, ban them and all that. So um, there's something you can do. Uh, preferred page per audience. Um, Okay, this is not available right now. Um, so these are a little bit more of like things that you don't have to really look at. Um, page support inbox, feature payment. Yeah, I think pretty much it. And if you want to look at like what has happened in your page, you can actually see page management history. So you can see that like, you know, today these are all the things that I have done. Yeah, so I think it also works for, um, uh, pages that's managed by like for example four people then you know who have done what um, when it's here but overall nothing too much that you have to take note yeah I think I have covered pretty much everything for creating a Facebook page um, so yeah, so I've shown you how to create a Facebook page. What are the important things that you need to note? For example, adding a blue button here, um, um, reviewing your tabs here, um, and also adding the messaging prompt, whereby when a user lands on your page, you will, they, you will prompt them to send you a message. Um, I think these three are very important to manage your page. Um, the next thing will then be for you to manage your notifications and your messages inbox. So, cause you don't want to miss a message from your potential clients. Um, insights, insights is uh, about your page. So what has happened on your page, right? Um, how is the engagement like? Um, anyone like your page, you know? who have seen your page. We don't have sufficient data because uh, I have just created the page, but for a page, right, you should see. Mm. So this is a prompt, right? Like you can see that like when I log in, when I assess my page, then this is my page. And then they will ask me like all these questions to prompt me to reply them, to send them a message. Okay, so you can see that um, this is a page insights. Um, these are all read field page insights. Okay, so you can see like, um, uh, how has it, uh, yeah. how, how has it fair, um, um, that it has like, um, increased compared to the past seven days. Um, and what's the post reach like and how many new page like I have. So you can see the increase and decrease um, and all that. Yeah. So responsiveness is actually your own responsiveness to messages. So you can see the response rate is 70, uh, 91. Uh, um, a good gauge is actually uh, at least an 80% kind of responsive rate. Okay. Um, 
yeah. So you can see like how have the post been um, running um, when I when we post this, you know, how many people have actually seen it, um, how many likes we have, how many um, reactions we get and all that. Yeah, so you can actually see this here on your post inside. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. So pages to watch means, right, um, you can compare your performance uh, with other pages. So let's say you're doing Subang and there's also another Subang property page. You can actually add them here to actually um, see how have other people been doing. So you can see like they also suggested these pages for me to, to um, watch. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So if you want, you can just click watch page. If you don't want, you can also see more by clicking here. So this is a notification. So yeah, um, let me go back. So again, you can see I always navigate on the left hand side, it's in and out. Uh, uh, yeah, so inside is this one that you've seen just now. Publishing tool is where we manage our advertisement. So yeah, so um, yeah, ad center, you don't really have to do this because we are not running ads from Facebook itself. We are running ads from command. It's a lot simpler. Um, yeah, so you can edit page info here. You can, you know, look at the settings here. And that is pretty it. So let's say um, if I'm a visitor, I want to look at the page. This is, you can have this function. You can actually click on this thing that says view as visitor. So even though now like, uh, so, so this, is a, this is what people will see. So you come to your page, this is a cover photo, this is a profile photo. Um, they, are, they can WhatsApp me directly by clicking on this button. Um, they can also like my page or message me on Facebook. Um, see, this is the information that I gave. Yeah. So remember just now I key in this information on page info, it's appearing here. Okay, yeah. This is all these updates. So these are my posts, right? I didn't post anything, but um, remember again, it's like you open a shop, right? You would need to maintain the shop. So you need to have like something that you put there. Um, let's say you have shops, you have inventory, you have products that you want to sell, right? Um, so this is where you create posts and then you post it on this uh, group, uh, on this page. Um, so instead of creating a post, I am going to show you what other people is doing, right? So you can see that like, um, he actually put his listing here. Mm. See, he, he actually have this series where he talks about um, all the Jalan, all the like, for example, Jalan Muhammad Fuad, you know, what is it, who is it, and all these things. Did you know TTDI? So these are some of the things that um, you can um, check out. So he actually also have a 3D virtual tour. So uh, according to what you have, um, you can put this in. So like some other pages, they put things like, um, see, this is like Chinese e uh, information, but so according to your audience as well, like are you targeting, um, you know, people of what languages and all that? Yeah, so you can also see that, you see um, this person, they are just sharing um, information from another website. So, so she didn't even con, didn't, didn't even like create their own website. They are just sharing websites. Yeah. The only thing about this is that, is that um, even though you populate information on your page, but um, um, people can see that uh, they, they can actually go to this website and, you know, deal directly with them, for example. So, yeah, it's not a bad thing. Uh, it's something that um, you can decide how you like to, um, so you see, this is a post about RG, R, RPGT. So think from the perspective of when you have a page, right? Think from the perspective of what are your strengths that you want to highlight, put it here. So you can see that this person, his strength is TTDI. It's like, he's like fully, full on, you know. Um, what are the things that were, um, that um, people are interested at this point, right, you know, uh, because of what's happening right now with COVID, you know, it's MCO and this like that. Um, 
and because of you know um, what happened earlier you know people were actually concerned and confused about rpgd right so putting putting on information that um is relevant for people yeah so yeah so this is another example that have like no posts okay so just imagine with me lah. So if you are a person, you are a client, right? You see these three pages, TTDI Homes, this Subang Jaya Kelana, and this Chari Ruma, right? Who would you trust more? How would you feel about these pages? Who actually have like a better credibility? You know, just by looking at this page without sending them a message, right? Who would you actually look for? Yeah. So 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 think of it from that perspective and um, then you can start thinking and planning how you would want to post for your own page already right yeah so i think i'm pretty much there already uh, i'm gonna stop sharing screen and okay any I didn't get to look at the chat box. So, um, how is the any questions? And yeah, there's one uh, question on custom tabs for the page. Can we customize the tabs on their pages? Oh, um, I don't think you you can customize in the sense that you can. Um, select the sequence and put what you want to appear first but i don't think you can um custom as in like say i want to put a whatsapp button here you cannot the only button you can sort of customize is this one yeah so like i go back to tabs yeah you're talking about tabs right so again go to settings templates and tabs here over here Right, these are your tabs. So you can see that there's no option to say custom your text or add, put your own tabs. So if don't have, then cannot look. Um, you can only turn it on or off. Okay, you can only change the sequence. Yeah, so um, yeah, hope that answered the question. Um, there's this question from uh, Christopher Wong um, mm -hmm. talking about the, con the, the, <clears throat> the button that allows people to contact them. Mm -hmm. He seems to not be able to find the WhatsApp option. Is there something you need to do beforehand to so, enable it? So, um, again, like at my page here, go to settings actually no at my page right just now before i here over here um currently is gray out it says edit whatsapp right um in the very beginning in the very beginning it's just a blue button that says add button, button. yeah so you should see this blue color button that says add button here yeah, I think it's in the beginning of my training just now, earlier. Yeah. So at your page, just go to this portion and click on add blue button. Then you should be able to add your buttons, whether it's a WhatsApp or a message or a call. Any other questions that you think we should uh, address? That's not addressed in the chat box. So far, I've answered most of them. Mm. If um, you have any more question, um, I let me share screen. Yeah, I want to encourage you to um, post in our command community group uh, here, okay? 
So just go to your workplace um, and search for community, search for command, um, and you should land here, right? So this is where uh, the, the uh, we talk about everything command, whether it's a Facebook ads thing or whether it's a Facebook page thing or uh, campaigns and all that. So um, I have also posted some very like simple step-by-step -step video on how to do certain things. Um, for example, how to make sure that your leads go to command, um, how to make sure that, uh, how to go to, how to access your Facebook leads, you know, when comments not available and something like that. So yeah, then you can also see how other people are running their ads. What is their results, um, some issues um, and all that. Um, yeah. Or, so if you have any more questions, you can post here. Um, I believe your uh, market center support staff is able to also um, help you with certain things. Yeah. Um, also, please scroll through and see if um, some of these posts actually answers your questions because um, I, I see like people have like similar questions and that um, sometimes it's a uh, it's a uh, it's quite common like it's a common questions or common issues that people face yeah see you can see this is how anita shared about um appointment creation on facebook chat the one that um you saw just now so yeah i think i think that's it um is there anything that we should address, uh, Marcus or regional team? I think um, those of you that have missed certain parts that like you can't remember where to click or whatever that you may need more time, um, you can revisit our Facebook, uh, our YouTube, YouTube. video. Yeah, hmm. a YouTube video. Then you can take as much time. You can just pause the YouTube video and then you can do it, pause and then continue it. My best recommendation is for you to do it hands-on while you're doing it hands-on. Then you follow whatever Sumin did in her vi the video recording. Lah. Um, certain of you, so some of you, you're saying that you know you key in phone number and then keep getting error. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe you can log out of Facebook, log in again, and then you try again kind of thing. Sometimes there's a bug there. Um, those of you that cannot find the WhatsApp option and button, if you if you view Sumin's video again, I think you'll be able to find it. Lah. It's there. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Sorry, if I, I just want to interrupt before you conclude. Uh, um, go to our YouTube chat, go to YouTube, um, and go to our Read Few Properties uh, channel, um, and subscribe to it. There's a subscribe button here. Uh, click subscribe. So once you click subscribe, right, um, this button will actually appear here. Okay, so the next time you can just come here to look for the video. Um, you can see that um, our workshops video were already up, so you can actually um, follow them um, accordingly. Um, yeah, and this thing about this is that when you click on the workshop, right, you can actually drag. So, you know, you can like um, skip to the page, uh, skip to the part that's relevant to you, or you can actually also play it faster. For example, instead of a normal speed, do it faster um, so that, yeah, so that you can, you know, um, uh, follow the training a bit faster um so that is uh, the video that you can actually refer to after so go to the youtube channel subscribe to our um review review um kw malaysia's uh, channel and just follow the training there after yep back to you lynn sorry about oh, that yeah. just now. No, no worries no worries at all um if any of you need help um, specifically, you can also get uh, in touch with your market center support. They may be able to support you at some point. Um, and then uh, you also join the KW Command Community Group. Then we will be able to... Uh, other agents are not just us, you know, sometimes we are not fast enough that other agents may be able to answer your question as well. 
So um, yeah, uh, just try on first and then progress from there. Because John, Jonathan Lee, my boss, always says, fail, fail forward. Lah. So you may not get it the first time, but if you keep trying, you will fail and you'll fail forward. So, Okay. Uh, Saint Faye, can I have the slides? Okay, so this is our training um, for this coming week, the, the, the end of this, today until the end of the week. So um, today is our commands campaign, how to set up the Facebook business page. And one of the main reasons why we're doing this is because for you to use command campaigns, you need to have a Facebook business page. Yeah, that's why we are teaching you to set it up. And as Yumin also said many times during the training, you must remember to maintain the page. It's very frustrating when someone messages you on your Facebook business page, but then they get no answers. Then you probably get a lead that, that, you, know, um, that you just threw away in the bin kind of thing. So um, remember to keep checking back your Facebook page. If you have put send message, then check your Facebook messenger. If you have put WhatsApp, then remember to check your WhatsApp number that you actually keep in there. So that's the very, very important thing as well. Um, tomorrow we have Get Leads for Less um, with Lily. Uh, she will also be going through how you use command in order to get leads. Yeah, that's 9 a.m. in the morning. Um, next. And then we have a Designs Workshop. Means uh, using KW command, you can also uh, create designs for your collaterals, for your um, flyers, for your ads. Um, Bailey and Florence from our regional marketing team will be teaching you how to uh, do your designs via command, right? So that's the workshop on Thursday morning. And uh, the book, if you're interested in the book, you know, you just, uh, if you're you are a review agent, contact your market center support. If you are a guest, you can email us at hello at review.com. Okay. And then, okay, today is the last day for our sale, pre-order sale for our new arrivals t-shirts uh, and a face mask. So it's 30 ringgit for t-shirts, um, 20 ringgit for face masks. Please place your order. Um, the link to how to order via Google Docs, there's a Google form. You just need to fill up. You fill up your order already, then remember to bank in the money to us. Then we will take it as your order is valid. Um, today is the last day, so place your orders for the t-shirt it's 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 got the, the dry fit one is collared yeah and then the other two is no collared cotton all right uh and then there's also um bundles meaning that you can buy it in a bundle you get a cheaper price um you get a bigger discount so um for those of you that have bought or you're going to buy um, because it's CNCO collection date and location to be confirmed um, but if you want a delivery in West Malaysia then um, you need to pay extra seven dollars lah okay um, collection we will probably tell you how how it will go about um, and see how the CNCO thing um, is lah in the uh, coming weeks okay Okay, I think that's all for now. So remember to join the KW Command community. Ask your questions there. Um, you can leverage on your market center support if you need to. And then, um, yeah, we'll see you in the next training workshop or workshop.